Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a police officer named Green, tasked with delivering some money to Balam, a prominent prisoner with opulent accommodations and private guards. Balam is a drug lord, who is able to manage his business and control drug trafficking while incarcerated, both inside and outside of prison. He also owns a company that deals in human trafficking and the sale of drugs and weapons. He chose to remain in custody because his enemies can't harm him there. It's easy to see why so many assassins are sent in to kill Balam, especially since his head is worth a million dollars. In contrast, incoming inmates who will be detained in Balam's prison are shown to their assigned cells. Elsewhere, Officer Green confronted a prisoner named Jack Stone, who had been in prison for killing a police officer's comrade while carrying out a heist. Officer Green became enraged and punched Jack in the stomach before sneering that Jack would not be in jail for long. A week earlier, Jack and two of his friends robbed a bank, to obtain solid evidence that they could use, to expose acts of tyranny and corruption by government officials and a number of police officers, who collaborated with Balam. Jack left the area as soon as he had the money and the relevant information. But then the police surround Jack and his two companions, and the cops end up shooting and killing Jack's two companions. After knocking out several law enforcement officers, Jack was able to elude capture and flee to a nearby building. When Jack was about to leave, a police officer appeared from the shadows and threatened to confront him. Following that, Jack removed his mask in front of the police officer, which surprised the officer, because Jack was also a member of the police force and had been concealing his identity. Without thinking, Jack pushed the police officer, causing both of them to fall from a great height. The officer was killed instantly, but Jack escaped with his life. Jack did this on purpose because the officer was one of the officers involved in Jack's wife's murder. One of the other officers murdered Jack's wife. Following that, Jack gave all of the evidence and information files about the dishonest act to a journalist named Trisha. He then asked Trisha to investigate the situation and report back to the prosecutor's office. When Jack returns to prison, he is assigned to a cell with another inmate named Silva. During lunch, a prisoner named Semyon, who is also Balam's cousin, approached a new prisoner and asked for security money. Semyon beats the man as a result of the man's refusal to give Semyon any money. After that, Semyon approached Jack to request financial assistance from him. But before Semyon could threaten Jack, the man struck him and knocked him and his men to the ground. This occurred prior to Semyon's threat to Jack. The guards then placed Semyon and his men in solitary confinement, and Jack was allowed to resume his leisurely lunch. The guards then lead Jack to a room where he can communicate with Balam via a surveillance camera. Balam then issues a warning to Jack, telling him not to interfere with his business while he is imprisoned. He also reminds Jack of the murder of Jack's wife by Balam and his henchmen. Furthermore, Balam attempted to threaten Jack, but it did not appear that Jack had heeded Balam's warning. That same evening, three fellow inmates who had broken into Jack's holding cell attacked him without warning. However, Jack was able to quickly knock out the three opponents without even waking Silva up. Meanwhile, Trisha, who has obtained a file containing information about corruption committed by police and government officials, is attempting to investigate the facts and discover the identity of Jack Stone. The following day, Trisha went to the prosecutor's office to speak with that individual. However, the prosecutor was unexpectedly called to a significant meeting, and Trisha was directed to transfer the information file to Mark, the prosecutor's assistant. Trisha was skeptical of Mark, and stated that she would return to the situation to speak with the prosecutor in person. Trisha was waiting in front of the prosecutor's office to meet with him, and tell him about information she had about corruption committed by members of the police force and government officials. Trisha then pays Jack a visit in jail, declaring that she is conducting an investigation into the data he provided to her. After that, Jack advised Trisha to exercise caution and properly use the knowledge she had gained. After returning to his cell, Jack reflected on the wonderful times he had shared with his now deceased wife. Following his fight with Semyon, a fellow inmate named William approached Jack and advised him to maintain a high level of alertness. On the other hand, Jack claims he has no fear of Semyon or Balam, and then inquires about the location of Balam's holding cell. There was an absolute need for secrecy, according to William. A large number of the wardens were also unaware of it. The scene abruptly shifts to a women's prison, where two inmates appear to be engaged in a physical altercation. After the guards arrived and detained the two female captives, one of the prisoners had her head covered and was transferred to a different location. The woman, whose name is Elena, appears to have been taken before Balam, who was also present, along with a large number of other prisoners. It was established that Semyon and the other male detainees made a personal profit from drug sales and requested security money without Balam's knowledge. Elena was sent there at the same time because she had defeated one of Balam's most trusted female minions. 
Balaam then held a competition in which the winner would receive $10,000 if they could kill Jack Stone, and deliver the man's severed head in front of him. Following this, William proceeded to inform Jack of the situation. Without delay, the other inmates plotted against Jack to win the Balaam competition. But with William's help, Jack can easily defeat all of them. Balaam, on the other hand, received a call from District Attorney Johnson, who stated that a female reporter had evidence and information related to corruption committed by police officers who worked with Balaam as well as government officials. Over the phone, Johnson's statement was relayed to Balaam. Balaam then requests that the prosecutor eliminate the female reporter while claiming that he will eliminate Jack Stone before the end of the day. When Jack is working in the laundry room, he is assaulted once more, this time by the prison warden. Jack is beaten even more severely this time. When Jack emerged from the laundry room, he was met by a swarm of inmates who were preparing to assault him. However, Jack previously stated that if $100,000 were divided by the number of convicts who would attack him, only $11,000 would be awarded to each individual. The prisoners eventually abandoned their plan to attack Jack because they decided the risks were too great, and they left the cell block. Trisha tells her friend Allison, who is in a different location, about Balaam and the corrupt government officials. Meanwhile, within the women's prison, Elena makes her way to Balaam's female henchman, Kat, in order to apologize as directed by Balaam. Elena deliberately provokes Kat, so that they can have another fight, during which Elena pretends to be asleep while Kat beats her up. Elena was taken to the hospital to be treated for her injuries. As soon as the nurses and doctors left the room, Elena removed her handcuffs, took some booze and narcotics, and placed them in the mop bucket that William frequently used. She then crept into the air vents to determine the location of the surveillance cameras in the room. Trisha pays Jack a visit while he is imprisoned and informs him of the carnage carried out by Balaam's troops. Elena, who was the only one who knew where the surveillance cameras were, dashed back to the hospital room to avoid being discovered. The nurse was on her way to the examination room. Elena was able to sneak back into the medical room without being discovered because William arrived so quickly and diverted the nurse's attention. While they were both looking at the situation, Jack asked William how long he had been infiltrating the organization. It has been revealed that Jack is aware that William is not a real prisoner but rather an undercover FBI agent. William takes on the identity of a detainee on purpose in order to expose corrupt police officers and people associated with Balaam. Elena had been William's partner throughout the entire covert operation, which had lasted six months. After explaining everything to Jack, they are attacked by other inmates who are also held at the facility. As a result of the incident, Jack was placed in solitary confinement, and William was summoned to Warden Blaine's office. It was feared that the incident would cause a commotion. Because William attacked Balaam's henchman, Blaine threatens William with handing over some money if he wants to remain in prison. Because the prison guards cannot ensure William's safety without security money, Blaine demands that William hand over some cash. Meanwhile, Trisha makes another attempt to meet with District Attorney Johnson, however, the assistant informs her that the prosecutor is unavailable due to urgent work. Mark then proposed to Trisha that she provide the FBI with the information that he had. Balaam's daughter paid him a visit soon after, and he was moved out of his cell to make room for her. As soon as Balaam steps out of his cell, William signals Elena to begin her mission. A prison warden hauled Elena away after she pretended to be asleep in order to escape. However, Elena and William unexpectedly render the warden unable to continue his duties. William infiltrated the control room while Elena covertly infiltrated the CCTV monitoring room after disguising himself as a security staff member. After his daughter has vented her rage at him for being a criminal kingpin, Elena notices from the CCTV cameras that Balam will soon leave the visiting room. This will take place after his daughter has completed her tirade. When William realized this, he opened the door to the isolation room where Jack was being held and let him out. After Jack has rendered the warden helpless, William informs Jack that he and Elena will accompany Jack to Balaam's location. Following the instructions given to him by William and Elena, Jack quickly assumed the appearance of one of the prison guards. Not long after that, Warden Blaine and several other prison guards discovered that someone had broken into the room containing the CCTV cameras. Elena dashed into the ventilation duct to get away from there. When William realized there was no more time and that Balaam was approaching his cell, he opened all of the prison doors, causing chaos throughout the facility. A vicious feud erupted as a result of the convicts banding together to assault the security staff. Green is desperate and tries to flee the facility, however, Jack prevents him from doing so and instead pushes him into a crowd of other convicts, who then beat Green. William and Elena appear to be equally preoccupied with repelling attacks from wherever they came. As Jack approaches Balaam, he is stopped by Semyon, and the two immediately resume their battle. 
Jack is stabbed in the stomach by a knife that Semyon manages to steal from him. Despite this, Jack was able to defeat the man. The prosecutor and Allison appear to be plotting to murder Trisha and destroy her evidence, as revealed in another scene. Allison nearly kills Trisha before an FBI agent, who happens to be Mark, intervenes to save her. As it turned out, Mark had been posing as a prosecutor staffer and investigating corruption by District Attorney Johnson and other government officials. When William assassinates Warden Blaine and the other guards within the prison, Jack locates Balam, and the two engage in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. When Jack became powerless, the man remembered his deceased wife, which caused Jack to rise again, allowing him to defeat Balam and exact revenge on him. Soon after, the SWAT team arrived at the prison and took command of the situation. William then introduced Jack and Elena. Balam's group had been eliminated both inside and outside the prison, and William's boss wanted to congratulate him on it. Jack also thanked them for their assistance in his retaliation. All public servants and police officers who had worked with Balam and were found to be corrupt were eventually arrested by the FBI. Jack is taken in custody by William, who will later promote Jack to FBI agent and make him his partner. The lesson of this film is to never be afraid to defend justice and speak the truth, as Jack and Trisha did when they unwittingly collaborated to expose official and police wrongdoing. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.